Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you saw from the title, it's my spring shop my stash. I feel like I just kind of did a shop my stash, but it was more like Valentine's Day theme, and now I'm ready for spring. So I want to get some of this out of my shop my stash and back in my collection. But a few things here are staying because they're in my whole collection project pan or my deck with panning. So I'll let you know all about that as I go. So if you're new to these videos, I go over my shop, like my current shop my stash and I basically try and be <laughs> quick and do like mini reviews on each thing. And then we choose products from my collection to replace. You know what I mean? So yeah, this theme of this one is going to be spring. So we'll see where that goes. But let's start with the, I guess the front here. So these are all my lip products here. This one is staying the Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit lip gloss because that's in a project. Um, this one I can put back, my Givenchy, I never remember the name of these, Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm in the shade 210. I really like this. Um, yeah, but it can go back in my collection. Um, the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in the shade Date Night. Um, I like the color of this. I realize the Fresh Kiss Lip Cream is not like my favorite formula because it doesn't dry down and it moves around a lot. But I have so many of these because I got the whole Secret, My Secret Admirer collection um, last year or the year before. <laughs> yeah, last year for Valentine's Day. So yeah, I have a bunch of these, but I'll put this one back. I did like the color of this one. My Letho Cosmetics Lumen Lip Gloss is staying. It's in my whole collection project pen, and I really love this. It's more like a lip oil, I feel like. Like it's more lip oily than actual branded lip oils are, I find, but anyway. Um, my MAC Teddy 2.0. I think I only wore this one time and I really just wanted to try because it's the Powder Kiss formula and I never tried that before and yeah, I really liked it. Um, this is what it looks like. But that can go back in my collection. This one is staying my ABH um, matte lipstick in the shade kiss it's just a mini this is in my deck of panning this won't be in here much longer because i only had six uses to total on to use <sighs> what am i trying to say because i only had to use this six times so it i mean it will be here for now but it will change probably um then let's move over to this section. These are like my blush and bronzers mostly. Um, this ColourPop Baby Cakes Pressed Powder Blush. I was worried about this because I was like, if this is like a purple blush, okay, and these are so hard to open. I think they changed them this year, but these are the last year ones. Oh my god. So it looks like this and I was like, oh, I might look bruised you know, but it actually is more like kind of a fuchsia, if you can see that. And I really loved this the day. I only used it once, but I really loved it that time. So I can put this one back. And I don't feel like this is a very spring shade. So yeah. Um, this one, however, the Freck Beauty Cheek Slime in the shade Fever Dream. This is in my whole collection project, so that's staying. And the Maybelline Cheek Heat in Coral Ember is in my deck of panning, so that's going to stay. So is my Makeup Forever Trio because this uh, powder blush in the middle, I think it's called B308, that's in my whole collection project. <laughs> 
and the bronzer from this hydrating complexion trio from Alomar in the shade Cafe Con Leche is also in my project, so that's staying. This I can put back, but I am proud that I actually reached for it. The Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder in the shade Pretty Peachy. So I realized I tried to use this as a highlighter, but it's really more like a blush topper for my skin tone anyway. As you can see, it's very peachy, as the name suggests. You can swatch it. So, like, you can see even, like, the undertone is quite deep. So, yeah, as a highlighter, it's just not the right shade for me. But as a blush topper, it's really nice. And it shears out. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm going to put this away. Uh, in my blush collection. This concealer palette I rolled into my some project. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. So it's staying. Um, I have used it a few times. I honestly think I'll probably declutter this after I reach my goal because it's very old and I think it's a, like it already started as a dry formula so you can imagine how dry it is now but I have been using the shade cream here and the shade vanilla as concealers um, I don't love it but yeah maybe I'll try and use like this shade as a contour just to use it before I pass it on because it was basically brand new when I rolled it in, even though it's so old in my collection. It was from a boxy charm like a long time ago. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll put it to the side for now because it's blocking everything here. Um, this Tristique eyeliner is just a black like gel, well, pencil liner, but it's like a gel formula. That's in a project, so that's staying. I think I only have to use it one more time though, so. Well, I should roll in another eyeliner, probably. Um, this Bodyography lip liner in the shade Rosewood, that's going to stay because it's in a project. This Huda Beauty liquid matte, in, liquid matte lipstick in the shade Bombshell. I think I used this once. I didn't hate it. Um, even though it's a liquid lipstick and this is like her original formula so I think it's drier than the new ones but it wasn't that bad so I'm gonna keep this I like the color it's just like a nice basic like nude shade um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury blush no beauty light wand blush I don't know in the shade pinkgasm uh, when I filmed my makeup inventory, for some reason I put this in my highlighter category because I think in my mind I thought this was like a very like rose gold shade but it really is a pink so you can see from the tip. I'm not going to squeeze out any more but oh there's like a good swatch anyway. See how like that is a blush definitely so <laughs> this should have been in my blush category. I really like this. Um, I probably should use it more. I think I only used it once or twice, but I have so many blushes. Like, I think I'd prefer to rotate, you know? And obviously I'm not getting rid of this because it was very expensive. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna go back in my collection. Okay, so this is an update for my whole collection project. If you watch that video, I rolled in that Marilyn Monroe um, hard candy setting spray. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's mold in it, <laughs> so that's gone. I'm not going to put that on my face. So I rolled this in to replace it. It's just a deluxe sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter. There's still quite a bit left, but I think I might finish this. So that's going to be my setting spray. I have used it once or twice. Um, 
I noticed that it leaves like a film on your face, but I think that's how it works because it's like meant to lock in your makeup. So it has to like leave like a barrier to like, you know, make your makeup stay on longer. I mean, it's called all nighter. So that makes sense. But it's just not something I feel like I ever really need. I don't like go to events where I have to wear makeup for like, many many hours at a time so i probably like once i finish this i wouldn't like buy it again or anything or i didn't even buy this i think it came as a sephora like sampler packet or something but yeah it does work it's just not something i feel i need in my collection plus i need to get some setting sprays out of my collection if you saw my makeup inventory it was kind of crazy so let's go back over here. Um, you can't even see this here, but this is the ColourPop Harry Potter palette. And this is staying because it got rolled in to my whole collection project for five uses, I think. And I haven't used it yet. This can go back my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I mentioned in another video, like, I was hyping this up in my mind and it kind of like underwhelmed me, but I'm obviously going to keep it. Um, I bought it with my own money, of course, and these are like just very neutral eyeshadows that I can wear whenever and the blush and the highlighter are nice. I don't like love the shade of the blush, but it's still a good, you know, formula. So, I'm going to keep this in my collection, but put it away. Um, now I'm all over the place. This Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo, I used this a few times, and I don't know, it wasn't my favorite, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really remember much about it. Um, but yeah, it's a cream blush and a powder highlighter. So let me put that away. This um, Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duo in Cosmic Coral. This got rolled into my whole collection project. So that's going to stay and I haven't used it at all yet. It was in my new makeup drawer. I never remember how to open these. Okay. <laughs> That's the shade, it's really pretty, so. And this is very like spring to me, so that's fun. I even used this Soul Body Pretty Peachy Shimmering Dry Oil. Um, I used it on my actual body, <laughs> which I did not think I would. And I, I mean, I wouldn't have bought this, like I wouldn't have went to the ColourPop website to buy this, but it came in the um, Secret Admirer collection. It is a really pretty shade. It's just not like I don't use dry oils, but I did force myself to use this and I didn't hate it. And it was like a dry oil, so it wasn't like greasy or anything, which I liked, but I just don't like have much occasion to wear <laughs> a shimmering body oil, you know? Plus it's been winter here. We actually just had an ice storm this week and we were like 1 million people without power, so that was fun. But now it's a really nice day and sunny, so I think it's finally spring. But anyway, I'll put that back as well. Um, oh, this hiding here, my Temp 2 and BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. This is in my whole collection project, so that's also gonna stay. I'll just put it here for now. Uh, this can go back, my Fenty Beauty uh, Sun Stalker Face, okay, it's a long name. Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. I used most of this. I use these two shades as eyeshadow. This one I can use as a highlighter. Um, and I think I did use this one time for an eyeshadow look when I used like all the shades. And it's just a really easy to use palette. As you can see, it's like 
neutrals if you use it as eyeshadow. For bronzer, I really like these two shades for my skin tone. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think it's like a good thing to have in my collection because it's eyeshadow, bronzer, highlighter, all in one kind of thing. So that's going to go back in my face palette drawer. Um, oh, and the last thing in this little square, my one size cheek clapper 3D blush trio in the shade Fat Ass. <laughs> I love this. I love the shade of this. It looks like that. Um, I've used all three the cream, the powder, and the highlighter. Well, this is more like a blush topper or like blush lighter on my skin tone, but I love it. I'm gonna put it away. I did get the the new shade that went viral. I don't know if I showed that in a video, but like that pinky lavender color. I haven't used it yet, but I'll put this one back. Um, and then I just forgot this little thing, but these two are staying. These are the powder highlighters in my whole collection project. My rose, no, hard candy rose gold highlighter. I actually really like this product. Um, I don't know. Well, I think I saw it recently at Walmart. This is actually the mini version of it, but it's really nice. And my MAC Double Gleam. Extra Dimension Skin Finish, that's staying in. Just a nice basic, you know, champagne highlighter shade. Um, and this Stellar Blush, this is gonna go back. Um, this is a very metallic formula for a blush. It's almost like an eyeshadow, like a metallic eyeshadow feeling, but I think I would use this more like a blush lighter again because it's so like metallic, but I really like the shade of it. It's like a nice, like, well, you can see it through the packaging. Kind of like a terracotta shade. Really like this. Just it, if you put it like where you normally put blush, I feel like it can look a little too metallic, but it's fine like to mix or to top like a cream blush or something. Uh, yeah, so this is what, I mean, there is a, like a lot of things that are staying in here because I'm doing two project pans this year. Normally, I'm only doing the deck of panning, but yeah, I need to keep things in my shop, my stash, or else I'll forget about them. <laughs> so that was everything for this section. I'm going to put this stuff away and show you my everyday makeup drawer, which doesn't change that much, but there's some things in there that are also in projects. So I'll be back. Okay, this is my everyday makeup drawer. A lot of this is gonna stay how it is, but I just want to show you what I have going on here. So I always have my Tatcha, the pearl, <laughs> this under eye treatment thing. Um, yeah, still trying to use that as much as I can. I have my NYX Glitter Primer, my Urban Decay Primer Potion. The mascara I'm using right now is the Fenty Beauty uh, Full Frontal. This one. I really liked this, but I find lately it's been smudging. I think it's getting old. So yeah, I might have to get rid of that one soon. This is just a lash primer from L'Oreal that I mix with um, mascaras that I don't really love, but I haven't been mixing it with the Fenty because I like it on its own. Then I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm, <laughs> am I sharing these properly? I'm at a weird angle, a different angle than I normally film this drawer, but this is the Pillow Talk push-up lashes in the shade Dream Pop. It's like described as a berry brown mascara and I mentioned that I really like this at first but I find like it brings out the red in my eyes which is not cute so <laughs> yeah I try to only use it like on the lower lash line or sometimes when I'm wearing like really minimal makeup I might just use this 
um, as my mascara. And then my only waterproof mascara, this mini Clinique, no, Lancome Monsieur Big. And I have an e.l.f. makeup remover pen that I like never use because I don't do um, wings. And it's probably dried out to be honest, but I keep it in here in case. <laughs> And my Tarte Fake Awake, it's just a nude liner that I put in my waterline. So that's gonna stay. Um, here I have, I hope you can see, my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. That's in my whole collection project, so that's staying. And this is the applicator that goes with it, which I really like to use. This is my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation that's, I feel like, been with me forever. <laughs> it's looking like this. It is in my whole collection project, but it's so old. It still works fine. I just, probably at the end of the year, I might have to get rid of this just because of how old it is. And the fact that it's like an eyeshadow, um, an eyeshadow, a foundation in a pot that is like exposed to air and everything, you know? <sighs> um, then my Rose Ink Skin Enhancer. I think I'm only keeping this in a few more, for a few more uses. It's in that whole collection project as well, but I'm almost at my goal, if not already. I don't remember. I should have checked that before, but anyway. These two mini powders are in my whole collection project also. I'm working on this one first, the Becca Hydra Mist. Um, and then I might move on to the KVD Locket. But you guys know if you watch my videos, I rarely use powder. But I have been liking the Becca Hydra Mist because I find like it doesn't look powdery on my face. It really just helps to smooth. So I'm liking that one actually. But as you know, Becca doesn't even exist anymore, so that product um, doesn't exist either. <laughs> and then in my last update for my whole collection project, I met my goal on my brow products, and then I didn't replace them with anything because I didn't roll any brow products. So I pulled these in randomly on the side. This is a clear brow gel from Queen Studio. I got it in a boxy charm. I've been liking it so far. It's just clear, you know. But I like the the wand. It's not too. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> the wand. It's not too like short and small like the Milk Makeup one that I didn't like. And then I rolled in my ABH Brow Wiz in the shade. I actually don't know. Soft brown. I wouldn't repurchase this shade. I prefer like a medium brown or like a cool tone brown in my brows, but I haven't been hating this. It's just not my preferred color. So I guess I'm keeping these two in here because I do my brows every time I do my makeup. So I need something here. Um, but if I roll in something else, like in a project, I'll just replace those because I'm not officially like trying to pan them or anything. And then over here, um, if you can see this, this is my Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It's just a mini size. It looks like a green um, cream, but when you blend in the skin, it changes to like your skin tone or whatever. I realize I don't love this. I feel like it makes me look a little dry. Uh, but I do like that there's SPF in it. So I bring this with me like when I travel or just go oh, like on a, a weekend trip or something. I bring this to wear as like my makeup because I don't wear, I don't bring foundation like if I'm just going, you know, on a weekend trip or something. So I bring this. I also use it sometimes like under makeup if my skin looks really red or something. But I feel like I don't use a lot of it. So it looks barely used and I don't think I'd get the full size of this because it would probably expire by the time 
I used it up. This is a eyeshadow duo that I rolled into my deck of panning for the prompt metallic. So I have to use that 10 times or five times. I can't remember. I haven't used it yet. This is the lip balm. I'm trying to empty out the Pearlys Daily Lip Nourisher. It's just my everyday lip balm. This I keep in here um, for when I'm trying liquid lipsticks or lip products that are a bit drying. I like to use this Bite Beauty primer on first. Bite Beauty doesn't exist anymore, so I'm just trying to use it up. And there's honestly not that much product in here at all. That's it um, fully rolled up, so yeah. I think this was a mini size. Um, same with this e.l.f. Um, lip scrub. I just keep it in here for whenever I want to use it. I'm not like officially trying to pan it or anything, but I don't use it that often lately because I'm working on a Lush lip scrub that I have in the shower and I don't want to scrub my lips too often because I feel like that's probably not good, especially with these like big chunky sugar scrubs. Uh, this is my Odin's Eye Elva Matte Lip Stain. Yes. I rolled this into a project, so that stain, I haven't used it yet. Same with this Sephora Mini. Um, this is a cream lip something. I never remember the name of these. Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01. I have to use that five times, I believe. This Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer is in my whole collection project. I really like this. I don't know if it's really working as a primer. I feel like it's more like a lotion, like a moisturizer, like something you would use in your skincare, but I like it. And this I'm unofficially trying to pan because it's expired, my Drunk Elephant Umber Tint. Sometimes I mix this in with the Pure because this is just like a lotion, like I said. So this like adds a glow, basically. So actually everything in here is staying because it's in a project or it's something I don't rotate. Like I don't rotate my mascaras. I just open one and use it till I can't use it anymore. So yeah, this drawer is actually staying as it is. And these are just tools, like this is a mirror. This is my color switch that I clean my eyeshadow brushes with when I'm too lazy to wash them, which is always. And then my power puff thing from Beauty Blender and my makeup sponges. So yeah, that's everything in this drawer. And the last section I have to show you before we choose new products are my eyeshadows that are in projects or on my stash or yeah that's it <laughs> um so this one is staying the elf 100 color palette because it's in my pandos eyeshadows project oops this eloise um the queen palette this is staying because it's in my deck of panning yes this lunar beauty i didn't show that to you nude prism palette is in my pandos eyeshadows as well so that's staying this one can go back but i didn't use it it's the colourpop secret admirer um eyeshadow palette I rolled this in because, like I said, I was doing like a Valentine's Day theme, but I didn't get around to this one. It looks like this. It's really pretty. I just didn't get around to it. So, yeah, because clearly I have way too much eyeshadow <laughs> that I'm working on, and I haven't been wearing makeup that much. Well, at least not eyeshadow, so that's not good. This is not focusing. Um, this Dominique Latte palette that's in my Pandos eyeshadows. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites, so that's staying. 
Um, the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. This is staying because it's in my Pando's eyeshadows as well. This Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette is in my whole collection project for 20 uses. I don't know why I did that to myself, but <laughs> it's also one of my favorite palettes. It's just, um, oh, there's so many eyeshadows to use. So it looks like this, and that's thing. Oh, I'll take this away. The next palette that's going back in my collection is the Natasha Denona Cupid palette. Another one I didn't use, um, but it's just not screaming spring to me. So that can go back in my collection. And the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in Cream and Sugar is in my Pando's eyeshadows. So that's staying also. So really, I only have two more spots for eyeshadow. And actually, I only have one more because I need to put my Harry Potter palette here. Um, because I'll forget about it if I don't. So yeah, I can choose one eyeshadow palette, which sounds like, you know, not a lot for most people, but I am keeping all of these, right? So, plus I have that metallic eyeshadow duo in a project. So I think that's quite a lot. <laughs> but I'll try and choose like a fun spring theme palette. So yeah, I guess now I'll go through my actual collection and pull out things and we'll see what inspires me for spring. So how I like to pick products is I make sure to go through like every section of my makeup collection. So I usually, well I don't usually start here but this is just like a spinny thing that I have. <laughs> There's lip products in here eyeliners setting spray blush um so let's pull one thing from here i actually think i might pull a setting spray because this is a lip gloss by the way <laughs> um it's like an ornament um but yeah I might pull a setting spray because I'm only working on that, on that Urban Decay one and that's not like an everyday setting spray for me. Um, I have this little one, this Milani Make It Dewy. Honestly, it feels like there's not much in here and like I said before, I'm trying to get some setting sprays out of my inventory so I think I'll pull this in actually and remind myself if I even like this. I lost the cap, but yeah. <laughs> I'll pull this one in. Then over here, so on top here is where I put my Shop My Stash um, organizer, I guess. And then I have all of these drawers here which are not organized at all. Um, honestly, it's like overflow from my new makeup drawer and just things that I stuff in here when I don't know where else to put them. But I think most of my bronzers are in this drawer. Oh, this drawer is actually uh, brow products in the back and bronzers in the front. Um, I don't... Okay, I'm working on one bronzer right now. I do have some cream bronzers in here. I think I'm gonna pull in, you can't see what I'm doing, but I think I'm gonna pull in this little mini Tarte breezy cream bronzer in the shade Seychelles. I have, I have used it before and I really like it. Um, I'm not working on any other cream bronzers right now, so I think I should, try and get some use on this and that will be everything from this section because if not i'll just end up with a million products and my battery's gonna die so i'll be back okay this is my um lip gloss and powder blush 
section. I also have this thing up here, which you can't see, um, of bullet lipsticks. <laughs> so, oh dear. Um, I do have space for three lip products, and I already have two lip glosses and one bullet lipstick. This is where I want to break out my Tiny Decisions app, but I know you guys like to see what I have here, so this is my first lip gloss drawer. Let's see if anything is very spring to me. No, not really. I'm kind of drawn to these Kosas lip oils because I honestly haven't used them much at all. But I don't feel like either of those shades are calling to me. Because this looks quite similar to my um, Lethal Cosmetics lip gloss that I'm trying to work on. So I don't want to have like competing products. This is more lip gloss. Mm. Yeah, nothing really calling to me right now. Maybe this actually. This MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the shade Pagoda. That looks kind of pretty for spring. Okay, let's put that aside. And more lip gloss. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm good on these. There's a lot of things in here that I prefer more in the summer. So I'm looking for spring vibes right now. I do need to use this Bite lip gloss because it's getting old, but now like it looks so similar to the MAC one. <laughs> and I don't want three lip, four lip glosses. Yeah, let's skip this one. And then these, oops. This is cream, no, powder blush. Oh, I'd really like to use this Benefit Krista. I'll show you the shade of that. Yeah, that looks really pretty for spring. Okay, let's put that aside. So, I actually ended up choosing two products from this section. Um, and then there's more powder blush down here. But... I think I'm good on the blush because it's getting out of hand. Over here I have more, like up here there's a lipstick organizer. So there's more lipstick there. And then these are, this started as like a drugstore lip product collection, but then I ran out of space and had to put other things in here. <laughs> so. I also have this, um, yeah, I don't know. There's, these are mostly nudes and these, um, Hello Kitty ColourPop lip products. What are those called? Oh my God, I can't read that. I don't know what these are. I don't think it says, it says the shade name but I don't see the product name. But anyway, these are like tinted lip balms. Um, these do kind of give me spring vibes. Well, they're more summery, I guess. I kind of want to pick one of those. Let's see the shades. This one is called Fun in the Sun. Oh, they smell really good. I forgot this one here. This one is Tropic Cutie, which is more like a pink. That could be fun. This 
sorry, it's not focusing very well. And this one is called Hello Fruity. Oh, that's like a fuchsia. This is more something I'd wear in the summer. I think I'm gonna pull that Tropic Cutie one because that was like a lighter pink. And these are quite sheer if I remember. Yeah, so you can build them up, but that's what they look like. Really feels like a tinted lip balm. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I also have my ColourPop heart blushes in there, but I just, you know, had those in for Valentine's Day vibes. But I also have my ColourPop, these like lip crayon things, the Just a Tint. And this, actually this Animal Crossing collection is very spring to me. This is the Red Duo. I don't think I want red. And then this one is, what is this? Peach and orange. Mm, I feel like I just used these shades in another Shop My Stash recently. Or was that something else? I know I used Orange Cutie very recently, but maybe this peach one. This is Peach Surprise. It's just like a nude. But I should use these more. Yeah, that's different enough from this one. Okay, let's do that. And down here is my crazy cream blush drawer, which you can't see very well. But honestly, I already have two cream blushes in my projects. <laughs> Don't really want to pull more than that, I think. For now. But I think what I'm gonna do after I manually pull things, I will use my Tiny Decisions app to pick one product from every category. So we might get a cream blush. And down here is my, um, well I have another tray of lip products, but underneath, I have all my face palettes. <laughs> oh dear. I should pull a face palette, that's for sure. Oh, I do have another lip product here that I always pull out in springtime because it's called Tulip. And we have tulips in our garden, so it's very spring to me. They're actually starting, not bloom, but the green part is coming up. Um, this is from Tarte. I don't remember what these are. This is the Amazonian Butter Lipstick. I don't think they make these anymore. But this is the shade. Um, let's swatch it here. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, now I have more lip products than I have space for them. <laughs> okay, what, well, some of those that are in projects will be rolled out soon, so I think that's fine. We'll just find a spot for them. But let's take this out. And, like, there's more that you don't even see in the... How do I... Oh my god. These shot my stash videos, like, you have to be a professional videographer. <laughs> to get these right. But this is my face palette drawer, which is crazy. Um, what's in here that's spring-like to me? Honestly, a lot of these face palettes are things I'd reach for in the summer. 
I don't know why that is. Um, and some of these I just had in projects. And this is all blush. I don't need more blush. I want like a, um, a face palette that has multiple things in it. Oh, maybe, th well, this is also blush. This Aether Beauty Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. But it also has highlighter. Okay, let's do it. This is just really pretty and gives me spring feels when I look at it. So let's do this. Um, I think that's going to be it for this drawer though. So let's go to my new makeup drawer and my other like makeup desk. Okay, my new makeup drawer is bursting at the seams. Um, <laughs> this is a problem. I did just buy, okay, I normally wouldn't support this brand. Not that I, I don't know. It's just, you know, what's going on with, um, what's it called, Morphe, whatever. Anyway, I found this though. Um, I just went like on a little weekend, well, we tried to escape the ice storm, so we went to Ottawa <laughs> and I found these at Winners. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels palette and I kind of was always interested in this, but we can't get Jaclyn Cosmetics in Canada because it's... Um, an Ulta exclusive, right? But it looks like this. I feel like this is more summer though. Actually, it kind of looks like the <laughs> Valentine's palettes that I just put away. But I liked that it had um, this matte white shade and then it has like some nice deep mattes over here. I just wanted to try it and it was a good price and I guess this brand is like bankrupt. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Um, yeah, I just saw this and wanted to try it. And I also found the Rouge Romance um, matte blush palette, also from Jaclyn. And this is something like I was going to buy at Ulta if I ever went to the States. But I didn't want to spend like the full price, so I found this there. And also another reason I bought these things is because they were really nicely packaged and had like, you could tell like they were not opened ever. And I find that's an issue like when you look for makeup at like TJ Maxx if you're in the States. Here it's called Winners, but um, usually everything is like been opened and touched by who knows how many people. And it's basically like worthless because why would you buy that and risk like having someone's bacteria in your products? <laughs> but these were so, like you could tell they were brand new and never opened. So, and this is just right up my alley, these blush shades. But yeah, I don't like foresee myself talking about these two things much on my channel because of what happened like with the brand and everything um but you know thought I'd show you them anyway because well you saw them when I opened the drawer <laughs> so yeah I have those I also have more eyeshadow palettes in this drawer I got the Odin's Eye Perfect World collection and what did I say before I have one spot for eyeshadow. I should use one of these, right? Because they're kind of still relevant. I know they sold out and restocked, but I think they're still available at the time I'm filming. The Sea Talk palette from Lauren May Beauty. Looks like that. That's more summery though for me, or to me. <laughs> so is the, um, the one from Betty Jean, the Planet Spirit palette. It's very bright and colorful, so yeah, not really spring. I mean, it could be, but for me, 
I don't know, I have a vision in my mind, <laughs> I guess. So I think I'm gonna go actually with the Florist Story palette from uh, Makeup Just For Fun. Cause this one has like that spring vibe I feel, like that, um, you know, plant vibe, things are blooming. You have some greens and some purples. Yes, I think let's do this one. There's more eyeshadow palettes here. This is just full of all kinds of different things. <laughs> lip products, but I already have way too many lip products. Blushes, yeah. Oh my god. Maybe if you guys want me to do a video of just what's in this drawer, because I feel like it would take me way too long to do that now, but I can do like a what's in my new makeup drawer video. That could be fun, even for me to just like remind myself what's in here and like organize it better. But yeah, it goes all the way to the back <laughs> of eyeshadow palettes and face palettes and all kinds of stuff and my mascaras, but I don't rotate those as I mentioned. So I think I'll leave it like this. Oh, I'll leave it at that, and if I pull anything else randomly from the drawer, then that's gonna be fine. Here, this is the drawer above that one. This is my powder highlighter drawer. I do have some mini um, cream highlighters here, but it's mostly my powder highlighters. It goes to the back there. Um, probably should not pull anything else from here because I just pulled that um, Aether Beauty palette that has a highlighter in it and I'm working on three highlighters in my projects. And I honestly feel like that is quite <laughs> a lot. Uh, maybe I'll do one. Let's do one highlighter, I guess. Or do I want to pull a random highlighter? Maybe I want to pull a random highlighter. Um, but back here, like my, you know, more high-end ones, like the Charlotte Tilbury, Clinique, um, this MAC one's really pretty, House Labs, things that just, like, fit here, really. Um, Okay, let me just come back to this because I'll roll for a random highlighter. Then this drawer is my um, concealers and this little thing, primer, foundation, tinted moisturizers, all that kind of stuff. Maybe you can see it better like this. Um, I'm really focused on the primers and like complexion products that I have in my everyday makeup drawer because those are in projects and I really should focus on them. So I don't think I'm gonna pull anything from here. Maybe I should pull another concealer though because right now all I have for concealer is that concealer palette and like I said, it's like not that great. Um, but something like I haven't used recently. I think I should do this one. This is hard to film with one hand, sorry. <laughs> this um, Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener, right? Yeah, Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the shade Seashell 03. I only used this like once or twice, but I remember I really liked it and I kind of like I'm feeling this for spring because it's not like super matte full coverage, you know? So yeah, let's pull this out and I would probably like, I can mix this, not mix it with the concealer palette, but like put this as like a corrector and then maybe see what it looks like with concealer over it. I don't know. Yeah, let's just do this one. And then this drawer underneath is my mini palette drawer and my lashes in the back. 
I do want to pull something from my um, Animal Crossing collection because that that whole like game and everything just reminds me of spring. So I should do one of these. So this one is called What a Hoot. I think this is like the brown one. Yeah. That's kind of just too neutral for what I'm thinking of. Then I have Five Star Island. Oh, that could be cute. A nice like pink palette and this yellowy shade. Then I have Nook Ink, which is like the green one. That could be fun. Mm, yeah. And this one, the Bell of the Ball, I've already used this one a few times, so I'm not, even though that's very um, spring to me, especially this kind of shade, but I want to use one that I haven't yet, so let's do Nook Ink because I need to use these. And this is like a fun, you know, pastel green theme <laughs> with this deeper mat for like the outer corner could be fun. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so I put everything back in my Shot My Stash organizer and I'll just quickly show you some things I pulled with my Tiny Decisions app. Um, honestly, it's not much because I didn't want to like overwhelm <laughs> myself or take away from the project sorry, the products I'm trying to use in projects. So for a highlighter, I just rolled this mini Artist Couture <sighs> Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. Oh, this is brand new. <laughs> it still has the plastic on it, but it's like kind of like a deeper champagne. I remember these used to be really popular on YouTube. I think they're quite like metallic. So I don't know, but I think I'm excited to use it. I just hope it's not too deep for my skin tone. I'll put that here. Um, for eyeshadow palettes, I did roll in another palette randomly. It's just a mini. It's the Viseart Petit Pro. And it looks like this. It's honestly not very spring-like, but it's a nice, like, everyday palette. So I'm going to try and get some use on that one. I did actually roll in a pair of lashes just for fun. Let's see if I actually use them. <laughs> The um, Glam Light Michaela Pat 2 lashes in the, sh in the style Daydreamer. This is like the more natural of the two. <laughs> and even these are like quite long. But let's see. Um, yeah. Might just be fun to do a look with lashes. And... For um, eyeliner, I actually rolled this Makeup Forever Aqua, Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow. This is more like a eyeshadow stick. Actually, it was with my eyeshadow sticks in my drawer, but I have this in the eyeliner category of my Tiny Decisions app, so... I pulled this one in, but I thought it might be fun to use this on the lower lash line because I'm seeing a lot of people lately use shadow sticks as lower lash line eyeshadow because you can just draw a line and like, like smudge it out and I like that idea. So, I mean, this shade is more like a deep bronze, but it, you know, I might go with a look that I do. And I pulled a lip liner from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the shade Crush. It's just a nude. Um, but it's one of these, like, let's see if I can get this to focus. It's one of these, like, triangle shaped lip liners where, like, you can, you're meant to, like, line your lips, but then fill it in with the, 
you know, fill in your whole lip with the lip liner. But yeah, I hope it's still creamy and nice. Let's just do a swatch. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually a nice deep shade. So yeah, I remember using this already and I didn't love the shape of it, but if I use it as a full, like a filling in liner, maybe I'll like it better. And it would probably go really nice with some of those lip products that I pulled. So yeah, this will be my lip liner to focus on because the other one in my project that I didn't put back is like this deep red. So <laughs> it's actually more like a burgundy, but yeah, that obviously doesn't go with everything. So now I have a nude and this is looking very sparse compared to normal. Maybe I should zoom me in more. Yeah, I usually have it much fuller than that, but I should probably leave room for like my project updates because um, I'm sure I'll be pulling in more stuff. And yeah, I have everything I need here. Bronzer, highlighter, blush, lip products, and then just to the side here, I have all my eyeshadows. <laughs> and I did manage to pull in some like spring theme stuff, which I'm excited to be about. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope this was like a shorter video than normal, because sometimes these videos are like an hour and a half long. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be my spring shop my stash. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!